Hey and welcome back. I'm going to be making a new tail stock die holder. As someone who avoids single point thread cutting at every turn, having one of these is really a lifesaver. Now a lot of you probably already know that I already own a tail stock die holder, but the one I have here is quite difficult to use when cutting larger diameters. Only the end bit rotates and trying to spin it and get a hold of it is really difficult. With that said, I do prefer this style, having it as a Morse taper tool, rather than something that you just put in the Jacob's Chuck, which I know is a very popular design. So let's jump in and start making it. I'll start off by cutting the shaft onto which the die holder will spin on. With the shaft done, I'll swap in the independent four-jaw chuck and set up the lathe to cut a Morse 2 taper. Now this method won't give you the most accurate taper, but for this application, it's going to be suitable. And a test indicator shows that it's pretty spot on. And that's a very good fit in the tailstock. Now if you really wanted to, you could blow up the taper and check the fit, but I really don't think that's necessary in this situation.
And that is the first part done. Next, I'll machine up the die holder. And that is a great free running fit. Next, I'll give the part a knurl so I can grip it more easily. Now this certainly wasn't my greatest knurling effort. I don't think I aligned it correctly, but it should work just fine. The last thing that I'll do is I'll take it over to the mill and drill and tap a hole in the center for a lever to give it a bit more leverage when I'm cutting larger threads. I'll also drill three holes in the end so I can lock the die in place with some grub screws. And that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Not bad for a few hours at the lathe. And it's certainly going to be a lot better than the store bought option. On a final note, if I need to use any one and a half inch dies in the future, what I'll do is I'll make up an adapter similar to the off the shelf model, but sized to fit in the one inch recess. 
However, I'll make that when the time comes, because I don't use these types of dies as much anymore, plus I don't have any 40mm stock on hand at the moment. And that's about it for now. I hope you enjoyed this video, thank you very much for watching, see you next time.